Yeah, Lindsay, that breaking news just came in about five minutes ago. That suspect has now died at the hospital. He was 47 years old, but this all started, like you said, from a domestic violence call. Police say it was between a man and a woman, though wouldn't specify their relationship. What we know now is that man was attacking the woman inside their home with a weapon, and when he came outside in front of officers, he had a handgun in one hand and a knife in the other. Take a look at this video from the scene earlier today. Officers say the woman was able to run to a neighbor's house and they helped her get to the hospital with serious injuries. Police say as they were talking to those neighbors, the suspect came out of the house armed with the gun and knife. The two officers then firing shots, striking him. Police say those officers then used less lethal force to separate the suspect from those weapons, and he was in the hospital in extremely critical condition, but now confirmed he has died. Neighbors say a police helicopter was overhead telling everyone to stay inside their homes because they were in danger and they knew it was an intense situation after what they heard. How many gunshots do you think you heard? A lot, uh, probably 10. It went like, like pop, 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 and then a little break and then a bunch more after that. It was terrifying. It was absolutely terrifying. Now, police were not able to tell us whether or not that suspect fired his weapon. They're still investigating that tonight, but they did tell us the Phoenix police officers who fired both have less than three years with the Phoenix Police Department. So there's now two investigations going on out here. One is the internal investigation with the officers. The other is the criminal investigation of the shooting, and they tell us those officers were wearing body cameras and they were rolling when this happened. So there is video footage. But again, Lindsay, that breaking news here tonight, that suspect has died at the hospital from those gunshot wounds. Reporting live in Phoenix, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's Family.